Do you want to know what that sound was? That was the sound of me opening up a can of Sprite Cranberry and taking a sip. So you guys might be asking, Seether, why are you adding in you opening up a can of Sprite Cranberry and taking a sip at the beginning of your video? Well, long story short, Sprite Cranberry, as of recently, has become a meme. Isn't that just interesting to know how, like, Memes have gotten to the point where basically any, like, typical mundane thing can pretty much just become a meme. Tide Pods, Flex Tape, and now Sprite Cranberry is a meme. This is just great, you know? Next thing you know, that freaking Super Smash Brothers meme is going to come out of nowhere. Hello everybody, this is Seethercord here, and welcome to my next installment of one of the more less frequent series on my channel, Furry Fan Art Appreciation. For this episode's installment, we will be taking a look at the fan art that I have gotten from more obscure areas on the internet to find fan art, and that is particularly Twitter and Furry Amino. I made a very bad mistake by not going out of my way to check for fan art on both of these platforms, and I will now be giving justice to these five artists who've gone out of their way to create this amazing art for me. Again, I just want to say thank you all so, so, so much again for all of this fan art you guys have given me together. And now with all the gratitude out of the way, we will now move on to the first two pieces of fan art from Furry Amino. The first piece of fan art we have comes in from a user by the name of Skipjack. As you can see, it is simply just a simple doodle slash line art of good old Seether 1.0. Clicking away at his computer, obviously getting frustrated with having to wait for his porno to load. <laughs> Or possibly could just be him working on a video as usual. Overall, it's at the end of the day just a simple doodle, but I appreciate it nonetheless for them doing it for me in the first place. Like hell, even if I tried to draw like that, it wouldn't even look as unique looking as yours is, Skipjack. Again, Skipjack, thank you. Much love. The second piece of fan art we have is from Furry Amino user just simply known as Rocket. Can't fully tell if your son is a raccoon or not, to be completely honest. Maybe it's an homage to Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know. That was such a great movie, even the second one too. Anyways, he provides in his fan art for yours truly with a very kangaroo resembling Seether 2.0. I also noticed that he made his hair full on red instead of light pink and black, which I'm not complaining about, it honestly looks really good on him to be honest. Overall, it does have that very exaggerated, overly cartoonish look to it, which I feel like he pulls off very well where most others fail at it. So overall, a great drawing altogether. Thank you so much again, Rocket Raccoon. May you raise baby Groot well. I am Groot. Bet you couldn't expect my voice to go even deeper than that, I bet. <clears throat> now that we have the two furry amino fan arts taken care of, it's now time to move on to the three Twitter fan arts that I've missed acknowledging because I'm a complete idiot. Anyways, we have our first Twitter fan art come in from a user named Coffee with a username Fresh underscore Coffee with a zero instead of an O on for the word coffee. Fresh underscore zero fit. Oh my god. When it comes to my opinion about this art piece, I think that it's very well made overall. It kind of has this smooth, bulky block art style which fits very well in this picture. And it also contains this really soothing and very well placed shading into the fur as well. Overall, another great fan art piece from Coffee, aka Fresh underscore Coffee, aka Coffefe. May Trump make you proud. And hopefully not put you on the other side of the wall, but that's for another time. <laughs> Now we have ourselves the next piece of fan art come in from another Twitter user known as Sleet 777 They have provided us for the first time in a while a skinny Seether 2.0 drawing, with him playing some video games and probably getting ready to do a Let's Play on Seether Core Games, which is a channel that you should definitely subscribe to. I, I know that you probably won't do it because nobody really cares about that channel, but in all seriousness, I really do like the attention to detail on Seether's species anatomy in this one. I like how his legs are noticeably longer than his arms. I also really like the look of intensity on his face while playing whatever game he is playing. It's probably the Sans boss battle in Undertale because I won't shut up about that game. Or it could just be Fortnite. Quit horsing around! Play me some of that jumping music. You are the shot I should have swallowed. Overall, thank you so much Sleet777 for this amazing drawing. You're the best. Your uniqueness when it comes to drawing anthropomorphic characters involved with their own anatomy is just great. 
Love it. Our last piece of fan art we have today to represent furry fan art appreciation with is a fan art piece actually from a fellow YouTuber as a thank you. That's right guys, it's from Cat in Space, both on YouTube and Twitter. She made this for me as a gift because I gave her a lot of support by putting her in my second video on underrated furry YouTubers. If we get to the actual fan art itself, she provides us with this absolutely awesome looking drawing of Seether 2.0, being an absolute badass with a confident and overall awesome look on his face. I also really love the purple paint-like splash effect in the background she's sporting. Overall, just absolutely great use of the colors and detail to make one hell of a fan art piece. Thanks so much to Cat in Space for everything, you are the best. So that pretty much displays all of the fan art that I have received over these past few months. Thank you again so much to all of you wonderful artists out there for your fan art. I am eternally grateful, and again, I'm so sorry to the certain few of you to where it took me a few months to put yours in this video. So that pretty much wraps up this episode of Furry Fan Art Appreciation. What do you guys feel about the artists that gave me fan art today? Did you like their art? Did you not like their art? Do you guys think there should be more art from these guys? Would you guys consider commissioning these people? Would you not? Let me know down in the comment section down below. There will also be a link in the description to all the artists' social media down in the description down below. If you enjoy my content and want to further help out my channel, please consider donating to my Patreon page hitting that like button, turning on that notification bell, and subscribing all together. I have been c and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. It's first level. We don't really need to continue. Do we, watch, do we have to watch the cutscene again? Do we really have to? Do we? Do we game? Do we have to do it again? Any ask questions? Do we have to do it again? Ghost and Guns? Do we? Do we have to watch the fucking intro again? I don't fucking know. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Steven, put the Christmas. Steven, crap's falling off of it. Oh. Steven, really, put it out right now. Put it out right now. No.